So in August, we released a report on the state of ad blocking, and it's the latest of a series of annual reports we released with Adobe. What we found in our latest data is that the state of ad blocking has hit now 200 million people around the globe. And we have an estimate of what the cost in unrealized revenue is. That's hitting, almost hitting 22 billion US dollars worldwide. And the people who are feeling the pain from that are publishers. So there's this vicious cycle where publishers who have needed to monetize the content that they produce online have increasingly turned to advertisers and, and allowed them to misuse their platforms. So what's happening is, as the publishers need to monetize more and more urgently, especially the ones transitioning into digital, they have permitted advertisers to become ever more intrusive and invasive on the user experience. So advertisers are now slowing the websites down, they're snooping on data, and they're literally creating ads that jump around the page and that distract from the content. Now this is a real problem because as that has got worse and worse over the last few years, it's become ever easier for users to vote with their mouses or trackpads and switch on ad blocking. And once a user does that, they never see any ads ever again. And the tragedy of this is that it's the publisher who loses out. The publisher loses those ad eyeballs, but the advertiser can move to another medium. So we found something really interesting. You can correlate the rise in the number of people blocking around the world, right, up from 40 million to 150 million, now to 200 million. You can correlate that sum pretty closely with the budget spent on digital video ads. So maybe there's a connection there. And when we survey ad blockers, what we find is that the ads they have a problem with the most are things like pop-up, sure, but also unskippable pre-rolls. And ads that they're willing to tolerate include display ads, text ads, but also skippable video. So really interesting. What we're seeing is that ad blockers are willing to tolerate video ads if they're skippable, but not if they aren't. And when we have tested this out, and when we've experimented, and we've put back ads using our technology through ad, block, ad blockers and onto their browsers, we found that the, the amount that they click is 50 to 100% better because they're seeing no other ads and because the ads that we're serving are unobtrusive and respectful. Very simple ads, but far fewer. They don't snoop on the data and they're not invading your experience. If you think about the first 20 years of the commercial web, let's call that advertising 1.0. It starts on the 1st of January 1995, when for the first time ever you could have any commercial activity on the web, and it probably is ending now. Advertising 1.0, I suspect, is slowly breaking down. And we need to think, we need to think primarily as publishers, we need to lead in what the state of advertising is going to be in the future. Because up to now, publishers have permitted advertisers to misuse their platforms. And that has intruded on the, what the publisher is giving to the audience. Now we need to think about ad experiences that are simple and unobtrusive and respectful, that don't distract from the content in the same way, that don't snoop on data, and that don't train on bandwidth. So at PageFair, what we've started to do is we started a discussion. The first meeting actually was in the boardroom of the Financial Times in London last Wednesday. And we had the World Association of News Publishers, that's representing 18,000 news publishers around the world, and Digital Content Next, which represents a lot of US premium publishers and different media. And we had 20 or 25 of the leading global publishers at that initial meeting. What we're, what we're looking at is how we can start a discussion where publishers set the agenda and decide what is acceptable for advertisers to show to publishers' audiences. And if publishers don't lead the way, then there's a real question because it's the publisher who's incentivized most to address this ad blocking problem.